welcome back to another episode of Cowboy Bebop. This is episode 15, The Funny Valentine. Oh man, I don't know what to think about this series. I really don't. Got some good wholesome moments, but... The fact that each episode doesn't drag into another into a storyline is driving me insane. I like, I, I'm not a huge fan of this format. And each episode isn't as entertaining as I'd hope they'd be. Like, there's good moments. Like I said, there, it's very wholesome, very good moments. Especially towards the end, each episode has kind of like a little story break thing and that that's kind of how it is but like i don't know it's hard to explain i'm not basically what i'm getting at is i'm not seeing what the hype is on cowboy bebop i'm really not so without further ado let's continue watching because things could always change i said that shit about a lot of anime and then like episode like 15 or episode 19 out of nowhere just made it really good made it made me like drawn to it i had to like take a day off work almost you know that kind of situation i have not had to do that but i'm just saying it sometimes gets better. So without further ado, let's get into this one. Shit, if I'm gonna be real before we go forward with this, it took like episode like three, four hundred in one piece for me to be like, yeah, this is good. This is the best shit ever. And it, it, it is the best shit ever. But So, just saying, it could take some episodes. Oh my god, Edge of Bandits. <laughs> Stephen Irons like, yeah, it's fucking boring, bro. Give me, give me food. Well, that's a very unappetizing. Oh, there's some fan service. So she's an old ass lady in a young ass girl's body, basically. Oh my god. Straight up passes out. So we're getting her backstory, finally. Well, then, yeah, that would, uh, if, if I woke up 54 year, years later and that should happen, I'd freak the fuck out, too. Like, I think it'd be cool, but I'd freak the fuck out, because I'd be like, oh my god, what the fuck? This is how she got her bounty. She ran away and then they gave her a bounty for somebody to catch her. I'm understanding why Ains looks like him. That's who she was referring to. Damn, dude got her heart. And they killed him. Fuck.
Oh, and she got her trust issues from this shit, too. Dude, Ed's like a real bro, even though she's kind of nuts. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Yes, yes it is. Visitors. Oh, fuck, it's the doctor. <laughs> Push each other to the walls. Oh, yep, it is the doctor. Oh, goodness. All right. She's got to fix her, her, her ship now. Oh, fuck. He gave her all the money. <laughs> she seriously tries her uncles on the dog. Oh, my God. Okay. That made the series a lot nicer. We, we got story. We got actual story instead of little bits of story. That was nice. So we got all of uh, Frey's backstory. I just, we need more on Spike. They've only hinted on Spike's backstory. His brother, friend, or whoever the fuck... Uh, whatever his name is. Oh, God, it's been a while since I watched some of these episodes, and I know I'm recording them, but damn, I have terrible memory of his name. But yeah, I think that's his brother or whoever. They, they're, they're, like, hinting at that, like, the entire time. And then we got a little bit on um, Jet from the last couple episodes ago. Ed is one that I wouldn't mind seeing, because all we know about her is that she's some random girl on this fucking junk island hacking shit. So why is she so weird? What, what is her th deal? Or is she just weird? Because I'm okay with her just being weird, actually. That's the one I'm just okay with not even knowing anything. Just she's weird. So, all right. Well, that's the end of this episode here. If you're liking the video, slash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next.